Welcome. This is Zangler, the Tesla Semi Advocate, and welcome to another episode of the Giga Nevada High Volume Tesla Semi Factory Construction for Friday, August 16th, 2024. The title of today's episode is Taking Care of Business, an homage to Bachman Turner Overdrive. We started out by looking at the far eastern, northeastern corner and got a little uh, taste of all the progress that has been made. Basically, some of the highlights of today's video and of the progress is that concrete deliveries for the perimeter grade and footings have restarted. Concrete is coming from the CMEX batch plant, which is less than five miles away. So it's good to see concrete being delivered again. they, it had stopped for about a week as they continued to dig more perimeter grade and footings. And now they're, um, they've commenced. So that's, that's good news. More footings have been dug and reinforcements installed, including post bases um, over on the west end of the factory construction site and building per- footprint where they initially started digging them. So the the uh, progress, they started at the far north west end. They worked simultaneously east and south and um, until they got to the uh, southern perimeter grade and they worked all the way east. And right now you can see where they've uh, turned the corner and have the perimeter grade dug at least partially. Now there's an opening there, and then the perimeter grade starts again. So I'm a little unsure if that is actually uh, going to be a large entrance and ent- exit for the semis to, uh, to, to go in and out of, or if they just skipped over that and will come back and dig the uh, perimeter grade. We can see, not real close right here, but we can see that there's a a concrete mixer truck delivering concrete and pouring it into one of those larger perimeter grade foundations. This is a look around at the Northern Nevada desert. This is a master shot and um, the, the drone is in control. Let you enjoy this for a moment, and then we'll come back with more commentary. That was a good look at the con- concrete mixer truck that was uh, pouring uh, concrete into one of those larger perimeter grade footings. Unlike the uh, on the west end of the building, the perimeter grade has just a classic trench dug with um, forms and um, concrete poured into those forms. And as you move east, large, very, very large footings were dug along the perimeter grade on the uh, actual exterior. Right now we're taking a look at all of the um, steel and other equipment that has been delivered. This shows some of the steel posts, beams, and trusses, as well as other components, including post bases, post base hardware, and many parts that I cannot identify. If any of you viewers are able to identify those for your, uh, those are, your replies and comments are always welcome. This includes corrections to my nomenclature, as I make no claims to being a factory construction expert. However, I can be trained and incorporate that verbiage into future videos as I do endeavor to be accurate in in my terminology. Here's a nice look in the background at the Giga Nevada Legacy Building and one of the warehouse on wheels or wows that was uh, installed or 
created prior to moving all of the trailers off of this location, which had formerly been a huge wow. And a wow is a warehouse on wheels, which is trailers that have been parked in lieu of having a giant factory for parts or a, a giant storage building for parts. Instead, they just store the supplier parts and component parts in trailers. And the, tra the semis come, drop the trailers off, and when those trailers are needed, yard trucks will bring them up to the building and then bring the empty trailers back. Here are some of those still shots of the um, steel. Again, look, appreciate any um, color onto what these parts are. These are trusses, I do know that much, roof trusses. And um, once this factory is complete, we'll look back and can borrow the, the song. We built this factory on steel and concrete. And this is a look at some of the steel components again. And um, hopefully some of you can recognize some of these parts. If I'm not mistaken, this are, these are uh, the prefabbed rebar grates that are go that go in the footings, as opposed to in Giga Texas, we saw them build them um, on site. Here's a good look at the entire factory site again using the DJI drone Air Three Master Shot feature. And I want to thank you for uh, joining today's video. Still didn't see the um, cranes that I was hoping for. As a matter of fact, a couple days ago, I was driving down I-80 towards um, Fernley near the uh, factory site. And I saw a giant crane, you know, two-piece crane coming down the road. And I had um, speculated that just maybe that crane was coming to this factory construction site but it wasn't. But I'm, per I'm sure pretty soon the cranes w will arrive. At the bottom of the screen, you can see the, the generally smaller western footings on the western uh, part of the uh, factory footprint and um, they just are generally larger on the upper two-thirds than they were on the lower one-third and I'm sure that'll all make sense once we see as we see the steel being erected and get a sense of uh, what each portion of the building is going to be used for including perhaps seeing equipment being brought in, stamping equipment, and what have you. So we got a lot to uh, cover. And uh, you are, I've never once done the thing where I grovel for, um, for your support. But uh, you know, because I figure anybody watching this already knows how they can um, support the channel and or my, uh, my account. So appreciate any any and all support and thank you for tuning in another drone flight probably on Wednesday thanks a lot